What you can do or what your students can do is a brain dump. And I had some of these resources from TCEA. They created a really cool blog post where a lot of it was done on paper. Here is the digital version if you want to see it. So what students will do or yourself will list everything that you need to do. So brain dump. What's the top three, the next easy three, and then the next three. And then you will also, for this template, you brain dump, and then you would add Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on how you would complete those tasks. Here is high priority and then low priority. So maybe students use post-it notes, or again, they could use this digital template. Here is kind of for lunch and food options. I love that you list what you have, and then you can create different options based on what you have and then what you need when you go to the store. Um, another idea they had was you would write down all of your to-do items, and then you would just move them over to the done list as you completed those activities. This one was low energy, so what doesn't take a lot of energy? Medium energy, high energy, and then just for fun. So again, you could use post-it notes or you could do it kind of digitally, but they had a really great idea on a lot of different ways that you could use these post-it notes in your classroom.